What's up guys, Luke here with Lukewarm Reviews. Uh, I'm gonna talk about Sama today by Lucretia Martel. Uh, I saw this film when it came out in Los Angeles a couple of months ago, but like I had family in town and so I never did a review and then I was kind of like, oh, it's it's technically was released last year anyway, so like, I don't know if I'll, but I, I can't stop thinking about it and also, as I mentioned in one of my last videos, all my reviews of like indie and foreign films just get, people watch them more I think because not enough people are talking about these films. So I'm gonna do a little review of this one. I remember it pretty well because of how unique it is. So so let's get into it. Um, this is my, this was my first Lucretia Martel film, but I, I count myself as a big fan of hers now and I will be seeking out her work in the future. This film feels like a technical masterpiece in just about every respect. Every shot is so meticulously designed down to the last detail, uh, whether it's uh, a llama or, uh, you know, people in the, the backgrounds and um, also the sound design, I have to mention, is bananas. It's so good and it's so, like, oppressive and enforces this sort of mood right whenever it needs to that's really really nice i will say just in regards to my experience with it i saw it in a theater in like an art house theater with a bunch of old people and i they i feel like they didn't want to let it be as funny as i thought it was i found a lot of humor in this piece and I felt kind of like every time I would laugh, I would feel kind of because no one else was laughing. So I sort of wish I had just seen it like alone at home on my couch with like a glass of wine or something because that's the type of movie it feels like. It's very like dry and just kind of meditative, but I found a lot of humor in it. I really did, which I thought was super nice because without it, it would have been very depressing, which is okay. But um, the last thing I'll say about my experience was just that it felt a tad bit lengthy in the middle, but I thought that the third act was so strong that it brought it back together really nicely, and the end was super satisfying. There's a very nice button, a very nice, you know, what is, I think the, the, the guy asks him, was it all worth it? Something like that. Um, very nice. It's a, it's a heartbreaking struggle watching all the stuff that this guy has to go through, but also, Right from the beginning, you get to see what kind of a, an asshole he is. So it's very conflicting and very compelling, and I really enjoyed it. Is it original? Yes. One of the most emphatic yeses I've ever said to that question. Um, the acting is super good. Really um, uh, nuanced and... Uh, like I said about the film as a whole, like kind of wacky when it needs to be, but also very subtle, very nice. And last thing, the aesthetics, the cinematography, I briefly touched on earlier. It's crazy good. It's, it's crazy. The whole thing is, from what I can remember at least, there's very pastel kind of palettes in this thing. It's, it's very kind of uh, washed out, which is super cool. Uh, I loved pretty much everything about it, other than just a tiny bit of dragging right in the middle. Um, but yeah, that's uh, Sama, a new, kind of new, it's from last year, filmed by Lucretia Martel. Really loved it, wanted to get this review out there and share with you guys in case you've seen Sama and you've been looking for more content about it. Let me know what you think. Follow for more weird movie reviews. Uh, maybe I'll just like only do that from now on, who knows. It would mean a lot if you guys would share this with your friends um, and subscribe if you haven't. You're really great. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.